Hi, I'm Ellen and I lead CRM's Renew team. The leadership of CRM and our Renew team have a gift and an invitation to extend to you. But before I tell you more about these, I want to share with you something that's connected to them. A practice that has happened to bless and benefit me a great deal when it comes to my relationship with God. And that's the practice of retreat. Often, when we think about retreats, we imagine a large gathering where we drive far away, learn from a preacher or speaker, and connect with other people who are with us. But that's only one kind of retreat. The kind of retreat I'm talking about is one where we draw away in solitude to be with God, as Jesus often did to be with the Father. For centuries, many of God's people have gone on retreats. They've disconnected for a period of time from the busyness and distractions of daily life to reconnect with God in a lengthier and deeper way. Because they've known that in doing this, there's fruit. One of the benefits I found in taking a personal retreat is that we get to slow down and remember that Christ is our sustenance, our source of life. It reorients us to Him and to His love. It also gives time and space for what's really in our hearts to surface and for the Lord to meet us in ways we wouldn't have had the time and space for otherwise. In order to retreat though, we have to make a sacrifice of time and lay down certain things, certain activities, relationships, and responsibilities. And this isn't easy, but there's fruit in this too. When I lay these things down, even if it's just for a part of a day or a day, it reminds me that life is not all up to me. It teaches me to rest in God and to trust Him to meet my own and others' needs. And on a practical level, learn to trust that He will help and empower me to get the things done He's calling me to. And I've seen Him over and over again beautifully redeem the time it's felt like I've sacrificed to be with Him. So now for the gift and invitation. We want to invite you into your own personal retreat. And because knowing where to start, how to focus, and how to spend your time with God during a retreat can be extremely helpful, we've created a guide for you to help you do this. Some of our Renew team have prayed, and they've asked God for a focus as they wrote a retreat guide for you. And although it's based off of a pretty familiar passage of scripture, Psalm 139, we believe the Lord may want to use this psalm to meet you in new or perhaps deeper ways through your time with Him. Are you in? If so, let me give you some encouragement as you prepare for and go on your retreat. First, find a place to go with the least amount of distractions. It doesn't have to be far, but away from home is often the best for most people. It could be somewhere like the beach, a park, a museum, or even the home of a friend who is at work or out of town. Next, during your retreat, if your mind wanders at times, that's okay. It's normal. Be kind to yourself. Simply nudge yourself back on track or check in with the Lord to see if it's something important His Spirit is leading you to explore with Him. Also, be encouraged that you don't have to make a certain kind of experience to make your retreat successful. The goal is simply to be with God and to let Him be with you however that looks. And this leads me to my last piece of encouragement. Be yourself. You don't have to clean up before coming to God or put on a certain face. You can be where you're at, full of joy or sadness, angry or frustrated. God wants to be with you, the raw you and the real you. This is the place where His Spirit meets us. CRM and our Renew team hope that you receive this invitation and gift of retreat. We pray that it will be reorienting and nourishing for your soul, as well as a gift of deepening your walk with God.